week to three. So this is my desktop right here. So uh, we can see here is I have my my uh, battery, I have my time, my date, and some of my system stuff, right? And as you can see, I can't drag it or anything. So it's it's beneath my desktop, which I like. I can move around and play with, right? So. How does this work? Okay, it uses a thing called Geek Tool, like I said. And here's the website, I'll put a link in the description. So, what you do is you download it here. Just download. Yeah. And you download the latest one, it's just latest. And then you install it. Quite simple. And then when you install it, you have system preferences. And it will look like this. Down here, you'll see Geek Tool. It's a pretty nice icon. So, you, you click on it, and then here you have three types of um, windows kind of things you can open. So first of all you have file and then you have image and shell. The most popular one is shell, which is kind of like a script that um, you can use. This is that's how I got the time and the like, yeah and the date and system stuff and my battery, right? Image is how I got the actual battery icon. So it doesn't actually change. If I have low battery, it won't go red or something like the iPhone battery, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, you need, um, I'll make a new group here. Let's call this test, right? So I'll, che I'll check my other one. So now you see it's totally blank. Um, so what I do is I take shell and over here I go to the scripts. I'll put all the scripts down in the description. And uh, so, for example, if I want PM, which is night right now, I'll take a shell here, and then where it says command, you write in that, that that's for AM or PM, right? And then you want to update every second. You, you could do every 10 seconds, but it's quite stupid. Just write one second each time. And then you, can, you can't see anything, but if you look, there it is, it's PM. So I'm gonna change here, uh, click to set the font and color. So I'll do that, and I might want to use. I can't do that. Let's see. How to get new and uh, ultra light, maybe a big font. Like that and color. That's almost all right. Whatever. Um, then you can change the background and the uh, background color. So you could like make this that and you could change the opacity so you have a bluish purple thing there so that's how I did it and then you drag this so you get yeah but that's how I got my desktop that you saw before and uh, this other one so yeah um and then that's how I got this right so I'll check that and then um quite simple and then for the battery what it did was I went into Google uh, let's see here. Google Chrome, and I want to search for battery, right? And then, if my internet works, yes. Images, I'll search for icon. And then, since um, Google is so awesome, they have this. So, I can change, which is icon. Well, maybe I don't want that, so I'll choose any size. And then, I'll choose green. Right, and then... Just find one that I like. Uh, yeah, whatever. So you take the image like this, and then what you do is you drag it to your desktop or wherever you want to keep it. You probably want to keep it. You probably want to have your own folder. I don't know how I got mine. I don't even remember where I put it. But so what you do is you take an image like that. And then you set the local path. You can do a website. So you could use the website that you downloaded this from. But maybe it changes and then... Oh, here it is. Here is my one I used before. So I'll just use that. Open. And there you go. And then you might wonder, oh, uh, how did I get it so big? Drag it out. Perfect. There. And then you get the battery percentage from the description. And that's about it. So... The moment I click away, like on the desktop, I can't touch any of this. I have to click the window and then I can move it around. So, um, 
it's a bit hard to understand like if you don't get any help the first time so hope this helps and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff um, it's almost like rain meter but a little bit simpler in some ways, a little bit harder in some other ways. Um, rain meter can be quite nice, but unfortunately that they don't have it for Max yet. Maybe they'll have it in the future, but this is what you have right now. But um, it's quite simple. Go to uh, your internet, Google, whatever, and you just search for Geek Tool Script. So you could do battery scripts. That's how I found my battery script. and. Yeah, that's it. Um, I put all the cool uh, codes in the description, and that's about it. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe.